Hello everyone and welcome back to Bee's Kitchen. Thank you for joining me. Today I am going to show you how I made this delicious smoked turkey stew, my husband's favorite stew. Now if you've never used smoked turkey in any of your dishes, today is the day to start because this stew is not your average tomato stew. Guys, you are certainly in for a treat. Stay with me and let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to go ahead and add my smoked turkey to a pot. Now, if you want to purchase smoked turkey, you can find this at your local Afro-Caribbean butchers. This is where I buy mine. Next, I'm going to add onions, garlic, ginger and scotch bonnet to a blender. I will add enough water and I'll blend till smooth. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the blended mixture to my smoked turkey. I will also rinse the blender with a little bit of water and add it to my pot. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings. Feel free to season your smoked turkey using your preferred seasonings of choice. Now, if you're wondering why I am cooking this turkey even though it is smoked, just because meat is smoked doesn't mean it is fully cooked. So I always cook my smoked turkey before I use it in my stew. Once I've added all my seasonings, I'm just going to mix everything together. Next, I will cover and allow my smoked turkey to simmer on low to medium heat for about 15 minutes. And 15 minutes later, I'm going to go ahead and remove the smoked turkey from the pot. I will place the smoked turkey on a baking tray. This will be going in the oven. Yes, I'm going to grill my smoked turkey in the oven. It doesn't matter if it's already smoked. I want the smoked turkey to have this beautiful golden color to it. Also guys, please do not discard your stock because it is full of flavor and we're going to put the stock in the stew. So make sure you keep your stock aside for later use. I'm now going to place the smoked turkey in a preheated oven at 200 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes and 8 to 10 minutes later this is what I am looking for. This is perfect so I'm just going to set my smoked turkey aside for later use. Next in the blender I'm going to blend together shallot, scotch bonnet, ginger and garlic. Add a little bit of water and blend till smooth. Try not to add too much water because you don't want this mixture to be watery. This is what we're going to use to make this stew. So ensure that you don't add too much water. Now time to make this stew to a pan. I'm going to be mixing two types of oil, vegetable oil and palm oil. And guys, I am extra like that. <laughs> Today, I just decided to mix two oils together to make this stew. Feel free to just use one, <laughs> it's entirely up to you. Also allow the oil to come to heat and once the oil is hot, add some sliced onions, mix everything together and allow the onions to fry until it is nice and fragrant. Now I'm going to add a little bit of curry powder and I'm using Bedea curry powder. Guys, this curry powder is so good. It doesn't leave this tangy taste in your mouth. They're not paying me for this, by the way, but I'm just telling you guys. <laughs> if you want a really good curry powder, you need to try this Bedea curry powder. Just mix everything together and just allow the curry powder and the onions to simmer for about a minute. Next, add tomato puree and then go ahead and mix everything together and just allow this to simmer on low to medium heat for two minutes. And this is two minutes of simmering the tomato puree. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add the blended shallot, scotch bonnet, ginger and garlic mixture. And I'm just going to mix everything together and just allow this to simmer on low to medium heat for five minutes. And of course, making tomato stew requires tomatoes. So I'll be using one tin tomato and I've just added this to my blender. Next, I'll go ahead and blend this to smooth. So 
So the stew has been simmering for five minutes and now I'm going to add the blended tomato and then I'll mix everything together well. I'm now going to add my seasoning to the stew and of course guys feel free to season your stew using your preferred seasonings of choice. As I've added all my seasonings, I'm just mixing everything together well. Next, I will add the smoked turkey stock. Once you've added the smoked turkey stock, mix everything together, cover and allow the stew to simmer on low to medium heat for 10 to 15 minutes. Also guys, please don't forget that every so often, stir to minimize burning. So about 10 to 15 minutes later, oh my goodness, guys, this stew smells amazing. It smells incredible. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to tuck in. So I'm just adding my smoked turkey, which I did grill in the oven, to the stew. And next, I'm just going to mix everything together, cover and allow the stew to simmer for an additional three minutes on low to medium heat. And it will be time to enjoy the stew. And the smoked turkey stew is ready. I don't know if you can hear the excitement in my voice. But guys, I am about to enjoy the stew with some plain rice, some fried plantain, some salad with a bottle of super malt. Ah, I'm going to enjoy myself. If you have not tried this stew, you have to try it because you will be in for a treat you and your family as always thank you so much for joining guys i cannot thank you enough for watching my videos for your comments for subscribing and of course for clicking that notification bell i see everything thank you so much guys enjoy your smoked turkey stew and i'll see you next time bye